Starting this lecture, we're going to see how we can able to publish a product from the inventory service into queue over here, which is nothing but the inventory product. And then how we can do all of these creation of a topic exchange and stuff. I mean, those details, as I told you, are available in the rabbitmq.com website, but I'm going to write this code and I will show you how it actually works. And once again, you need to understand a bit of basics about this rabbitmq, which I'm not really going to go and touch base on that. But as you can see, we also need to understand about the routings. Well, the routings are nothing but the place where you are actually going to be routing or publishing a message to a specific route or using a specific queue as you can see over here so basically over here within our portal which is the rabbit mq queue over here we are gonna publish to the inventory dot product because if we gonna publish to a default queue then all the messages are going to be sitting over there we can't really differentiate what message are we going to talk about so we need to differentiate that and that's where this routings are gonna be very, very helpful. I'm talking very, very straightforward and layman way approach, but if you want to go more deep about understanding things and writing the code, you can go ahead and understand the examples we are given here. But we are gonna almost write the exact same kind of code that you are seeing over here. And we are not gonna use the direct exchange, rather we are gonna use the basic publish and the basic consume option. All right, with that in mind, and with that all these informations over here, we are going to start writing the code and for doing that i'm going to create a folder in the inventory service and i'm going to call this as rabbit mq and in this rabbit mq i'm going to create a class file i'm going to call this as rabbit mq util and this rabbit mq util is going to be the one which is going to perform the operation for us so basically i'm going to say public and I'm gonna write all these code in an asynchronous operation because all these rabbit MQ operation we're gonna be doing is gonna be asynchronous rather the synchronous operation so I'm gonna say async task of publish message to Q Q something like this and I'm gonna pass two things over here the one is the routing key and you can see that automatically it tells me the exchange names and stuff automatically coming in but i'm just going to use the event data these are the two things that i really require and once i have that i'm also going to use the var factory of the factory over here which is cool i require that and i'm going to give the name uh, of this particular rabbit mq but for now it can be localhost which is all right and then I also need to give the username and password. So let's do that. And once it is there, I'm pretty good to go. I want to see why this host names and the connection factories are throwing me an error. The reason being I don't have the RabbitMQ yet uh, in my NuGet package. I have to install that. So go ahead and search for RabbitMQ. Do a quick installation in both the project because I really require in both of them. And we are pretty good to go so let's add the missing references and now the writer is happy and once we have that i'm then going to use the connection to create the connection i'm also going to create a model so i'm gonna say using var channel of create model and i really require this using i can just use the new c sharp syntax something like this and finally i need to publish the body of the message so basically in order to publish the body of the message i first of all need to encode the message in the utf8 format so let me do that over here and then i need to publish this particular message so in order to do that i'm just gonna say channel dot and as i told you i'm gonna use the basic publish so i'm gonna choose the basic publish and you will notice that the code is already written for me but actually i'm going to use an exchange name over here and for the exchange i'm actually going to pass the topic dot exchange as i showed you on the rabbit mq portal and also for the routing key i'm going to pass this routing key and the basic uh, properties are going to be null and finally i also require the body which is going to be nothing but the body that we have got over here 
right? So we have all these necessary information for us. And finally, I'm gonna say await of the task dot completed task. This way, it is gonna be an asynchronous group for me. Cool. So now that we have the publish message to the queue option. So what are we gonna publish into our queue right now? Which is nothing but in the routing key that I'm gonna pass in. So the publishing is nothing but once I create a product in my product controller over here, I need to publish that particular message over there. And the better way of doing it in the .NET world for any of these kind of utilities is to always create I'm going to go ahead and do refactor this and extract an interface and I'm going to create its own file for now and you'll understand why I'm doing that and then I'm going to hit next over here that's going to create a new interface for me over here with the published message queue and I'm going to go to this product controller and over here I'm going to call the dependency injection of the i rabbit mq utility of the rabbit mq utility so that's where i can do a dependency injection of this rabbit mq and now i can just call this rabbit mq publish message once i create any product so i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna say underscore rabbit mq utility dot publish message to the queue and i'm gonna say the routing key which is nothing but the inventory dot product so remember the inventory dot product is the one which is responsible for me to store all the product information which is nothing but this particular queue that i'm talking about so this is the one and then i also need to pass the product over here that's it that's gonna publish for me so i'm gonna probably say wait over here right that's it this is the way i could able to publish the message into the rabbit mq so let's try to run this code and see what's going to basically happen so if i run the code i think i'm going to get a dependency injection error the reason being i just created the i rabbit mq utility but i have not registered into the service so i have to do that let me go and stop this because we won't get there until we execute it so i'm going to go to the product uh once again say program once again and i'm going to say builder dot services dot add singleton of i rabbit mq as the rabbit mq utility now let me try running the test so that way i could test how the application is going to look like there we go i have the customer and also have the product so i'm going to go try it out and this time you'll notice that the product which i'm going to be creating is going to be a probably a eight let's call this as mouse and i'm gonna do 20 of them let's go to the rabbit mq for the inventory product for last 10 minutes we don't have any other moment and once i hit execute if everything is all right oh there we go I think we have a problem in terms of the access and that's something we are going to be discussing in the next video because this particular rabbit mq while i tried for the first time do you notice that we have an admin and we have a super secured password here and it is also something we need to configure within our code that we'll be discussing in our next lecture